Hey there, it's Cammie from the blog Tidbits. Now I adore the Valentine's holiday. I think it's something about the sweet colors and the opportunity to just love a little more on those I love in just a really simple way. Now what I don't love about Valentine's or any holiday for that matter is all the candy. I've tried to find ways to celebrate Valentine's without the processed sugary treats and for years I've shared candy free Valentine's ideas for you on my blog. Well this year I want to round them all up in a video for you and share my newest non-candy Valentine's idea that you can do for your kids classroom activities, friends, or even just um, for your own friends or family to celebrate in a really simple way. Now I always like to include free printables for all my Valentine's ideas which you can find in the description below and on my blog tidbits cammycom I hope you enjoy seeing all my candy free Valentine's. Candy free Valentine's idea number one is the newest idea that I have for you this year and that is my you have made a mark on my heart Valentine. Now you can buy these adorable little handy magnetic bookmarks for great prices in bulk and I'll link to some of our favorites. So my kids and I have come kind of obsessed with these because they're so handy for marking our reading spots and they're just so fun and cute. So you can print these cute printables that I made up with the appropriate cheesy Valentine saying and simply clip the bookmark on the paper. I had a little extra room on the printable sheet so I included a graphic of a cute bookmark that I suggest you maybe cut out and laminate and add a little ribbon to for another simple Valentine's idea. Um, if you are using these for class Valentine's I suggest they just write the to and the from on the back of the paper. We get together with our homeschool friends and swap Valentine's so the kids are super excited for this new idea. I also suggest that you print um, my freebies on cardstock so that the paper is a little more sturdy for the Valentine's. All right, candy free Valentine's idea number two is you are a treasure Valentine. So last year I really outdid myself for the idea that all my kids are fighting over to give to their friends. Um, I found these cute little burlap bags, filled them with some really inexpensive gold doubloons for the cutest little pirate Valentine's ever with a printable that says, you are a treasure Valentine. It was so much fun. So candy free Valentine's idea number three is sloppy Valentine's Day. Now when I saw these darling multicolored slap bracelets I knew I had to come up with something witty for Valentine's to include them. Since happy rhymes with sloppy I just it just seemed fitting to call it a sloppy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I simply used some washi tape to attach the printable to the slap bracelet and these were just so unique and fun for my kids to give out to their friends. The candy free Valentine's idea at number four. I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine. <laughs> okay, I do believe this is the idea that landed me the coolest Valentine's mom of all time. So my kids were still in school when we handed these cute squishy toys out and they were a huge hit. Taking my cues from Dory of the Finding Nemo movie, we gathered enough of these like to die for cute squishy toys, put them in a bag, and attach the printable that says, I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine. After that, I knew I had found my calling in life for creating the best non-candy Valentine's ideas ever, <laughs> if I do say so myself. All right, candy free Valentine's idea number five, love you for all time, Valentine. So when my son had a relatively small preschool class, I decided I could splurge a little more on the class trade. I got the cutest boy and girl hand watches and attached the card, love you for all time, Valentine. Now these preschool kids wore these watches all year and I absolutely loved it. I loved helping in the class from time to time and seeing their watches on their <laughs> cute little wrists. I mean, how much better is that than a mini candy bar? I also stuck with that same idea for my hubs that year and got him a really nice wood watch for Valentine's with the same cute printable. Um, I scored major Valentine's brownie points that year. <laughs> so you could also do the same for your kids and get them maybe a nice watch for Valentine's. That could be fun. All right, candy free Valentine's idea number six were these honey stick Valentine's. Now if I recall this was my first idea to come up with a bit of a healthier Valentine's idea. Now, if you've seen these honey sticks they are so delightful and yummy. They come in all sorts of flavors and they are simply pure honey. Um, I made two cute printables to go with this idea. One is a cute vintage bee graphic that says be my Valentine's and the other is a honey jar that says hey there honey. 
And once you tape them with the honey stick, they could make such cute little puppet figures, which my kids love to play with. So candy free Valentine's idea number seven were these heart bags. Now I just wanna leave you with another fun Valentine's idea that I used one year for a little Valentine's Day countdown with, and I put in, in them these little acts of service prompts for my kids, but you could fill these bags with anything you like and delight any kid, friend, spouse, sibling, parent, whoever. I shared on my blog how simple it was to make these and to add a cute little heart applique to the front of this little bag. And you can also stamp a little number on the bag. Now, if you're a little too late for this idea to be a countdown, just go ahead and save it to your Pinterest boards for next year. Um, it was really fun for our family to do. All right, I hope you've enjoyed these seven ideas. And if you have an idea to share with me, please let me know in the comments. I can't wait to create another idea and printable for the next non-candy valentines. Thank you for watching and be sure to check the links to all these printables below. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my weekly videos where I love to share inspiration for do-it-yourself living. I'll see you soon.